Hello guys, this is Rich of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person or channel na nagpunta dito sa uh, devotional natin kagabi. Francis Capen 2, Marisa TV, Yans TV, Michael Aburita, Ruby Ann, Aknet Virtores, Samsiside Channel, Michael Aburita, Mama Neng, Rusan Villegas, Balasang Po, Distill Blogger, Marisa TV, Cheryl May, Johan Bolando, Arlene Baluang, Yuka Ju Mendoza, Annalyn Yakat, Bebs Malu, Panga Febi, Len Kending, Ninja Beast, Duck Blogger TV, Tita Dance, The Lane B, Bun Society, Josh Chabalan Tour, Rain Bisto, Net Kunanan, Liz Maria, uh, Rilay, J, It's Mommy Rose, Len Batong, Heart Ponsalan, Chinito Anthony, Yabs, Yesa, Kirk Mimisu, Mayhit, Distal Blogger, Risi Mapue, Hichanova TV, Patnon Blog, Lemi Carriedo, Happy TV, Miss Hannah Duronio, Maris, Ninja Yuka Mendoza, Miera Blue, Patrick Bineda, Bibs Malu, Chris Lodge, Spuddy Spot, Carlota Garletos, Young TV3, Zani Bora, Lucy Calzada and Nanay the Steel Vlog. So guys, sana everything is okay. Sana everything is fine, no? Na nakapag-spend time tayo sa mga family members natin, no? Okay, so let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to Jeremiah 9 uh, verses 23 to 26. Maliit lang na ano, na verses to. Jeremiah chapter 9 verses 23 to 26 and it says, This is what the Lord says, Let not the wise man boast of his wisdom. Or the strong man boasts of his strength, or the rich man boasts of his riches. But let him who boasts about this, that he understand and knows me, that I am the Lord, who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth, for in this I delight, declares the Lord. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will punish all who are circumcised only in the flesh, Egypt, Judah, Edom, Ammon, Moab, and all who live in the desert in distant places, for all these nations are really uncircumcised, and even the whole house of Israel is uncircumcised in heart. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, uh, let's pray. Yes, Father God, in your word is really true. We cannot really boast of our health. We cannot boast of our riches. We cannot boast of our strength. We cannot boast of our wisdom and anything that is in us, O oh God, because all these things, O oh Lord, belongs to you. The only thing we can boast, O oh Lord God, is all about you, O oh Lord God. Yes, Lord, we pray to please uh, lead us, guide us, manifest in us that we may understand what your word is for this evening. Bless each one of us, O oh God, as we open up our heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit as we Learn again of your word. We commit all these things to you, God. In the name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, so our focus verse for this evening is found in uh, Jeremiah 9, verse 23, and it says, Let not the wise boast of their wisdom, or the strong boast of their strength, or the rich boast of their riches. Wow, napaka klaro talaga niya. No? Uh, kaya nga ako, guys, uh, very quiet lang talaga ako. I will not really boast of anything because I do not have, no? Okay, so the title of the devotion for this evening is Something to Brag About. Okay, what does it mean to be real? That's the very big, big question answered in the small children's book, The Velveten Rabbit. It's a story of toys in a nursery and the Velveten Rabbit's journey to become real by allowing himself to be loved by a child. One of the other toys is the old and wise keen horse. He had seen a long succession of mechanical toys arrive to boast and swagger, and by and by break and pass away. 
They looked and sounded impressive, but their bragging eventually amounted to nothing when it comes to love. Boasting starts out strong, but in the end, it's always, it always fades away. Jeremiah lists three areas where this is evident. Wisdom, strength, and riches. The wise old prophet had been around long enough to know a thing or two, and he counted such boasting with the Lord's truth. But let the one who boasts about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord. Claro, no? Okay. Let us, the children, brag about God and good father. In the unfolding story of the great love, is the wonderful way you and I grow to become more and more real. So, glad talaga guys na wala talaga tayo maipagmayabang. No? We're just part of the creation. We cannot say, uh, this is mine, that is mine. <laughs> no? So, wala talaga. It's all God's. Even tong life natin kaya, we cannot brag of ourselves because maski yung life natin is not ours. Our body is not ours. It's God's. No? Okay, so let's uh, <clears throat> proceed to the two question. Think of a person you know he embodies the ability to boast in the Lord. What is one way? Uh, okay, yun muna. Boast in the Lord. No? Uh, well, I already met a lot of person. No? Mga... Kasi guys, I always join my international mga... Uh, convention. I met uh, Arol Ankitel, no. I met uh, Christine, no. I I met uh, Francis Grimm, no. Sila yung mga evangelists na they do not boast about themselves, but they boast about God, no. They boast about God. I've been to the house of Cory Ten Boom in uh, uh, Arnhem, Arnhem ba yun? Basta Arnhem in a uh, uh, Rotterdam ata yun or Amsterdam. No? I've been to uh, their house but uh, nakita talaga sa evidence sa bahay niya kasi ginawa museum yung bahay niya na uh, she's not bragging of himself but uh, very humble siya talaga if you know uh, Coritan Boom. Mother Teresa, yun. Diba? Hindi nga siya naka-ano, naka-chinilas, nakapaal lang yan pag maglakad. No? These are the people na uh, magawa natin example na so humble talaga. They, can, they are not boasting about themselves. No? What is one way this week you can follow their example? That's thing I have to ask God first. No? Ang nagawa ko lang is yung I learn to save things. No? Kasi nga, wala akong trabaho ngayon. No? So, I'm not earning money. So, I learned to humble myself down kasi sabi ko, Lord, uh, yung buhay ko noon dati ganito, social, no? I even talk to my, ano, kasamahan to my body, teacher body, na sabi ko, ganun ako ka social dati, sir, no? I always travel uh, from one place to another. That's every day, no? Uh, I live, uh, I stay in a hotel, no? Kaya na ako na sa mamahaling restart, but Grabe ang humility talaga. Hinumble down ako ni Lord ngayon. Maski yung ulam ko, I have to divide it into three or four meals. Na Iinit-initin ko na lang yan. Uh, just to sustain me. That is humility. God is humbling me down at this time. I cannot boast of anything. Yes. I will not boast of wisdom. I will not boast of money. No? I will not boast of my strength because I have nothing about that. Ang dapat kong i-boast is God, my God. My God is so great, so strong, and so mighty that He cannot do anything for me. Amen. No? Okay, guys, let's now pray. Father, help us to remember Jeremiah's word. May we only boast and boasting be in the knowledge of you and your great love which endures forever. Amen and amen. Okay guys, sana na-bless tayo sa word natin, no? Uh, dalangin ko lang na please stop uh, flooding emojis, no? But instead, uh, next time, no? Pag magpunta kayo dito, ano, uh, 
makinilag lang tayo ng word. Now, because the word of God is so important, especially that we are now in the difficult times that we are now in the last days. No? If you are new to this channel, please don't uh, forget to subscribe, hit like, uh, hit the notification bell so you'll be reminded of the activities of Rich TV and that I also ask you to please share so others would also be blessed on the words. Okay guys, God bless us all because I know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This is again Rich of Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo muli at hanggang sa muli. Paalam!